we are on activity three and we're changing the expected value like winnings, right? So as the parameters of our situation change from 200 to $300, then our expected value is gonna change also, or what we do with that amount is what's gonna change. This is the same wheel, right? $100, the probability of getting $100 is 100, 100, and 100. So I am holding on to 300 bucks. You get to choose to keep the money or give the money back and spin the wheel to determine your winnings. And then all sections on the wheel are in the same size. So $100 times one, two, three. Okay, so that's 100 times three out of eight. Plus, in the 200, we have only two of those. I guess I'm stuck right now because my answer key is saying that the probability of winning 100 is two out of eight. The probability of getting 200 is one out of eight. One eighth. Ooh, okay, intriguing, intriguing, intriguing. Do we get to keep the money? You can keep the money or give the money back and spend the wheel. Yeah. So in the second round, oh, you already have $200. You already have $200. I did that part right. I should probably like pause this video, stop and reset it, but I'm gonna keep letting it play. Just let it go. Let's see what we can come up with. Calculate the expected value for one. Okay, and this, this is round two. So we've already earned, why would they say 100 is still one out of four? This is question one. How can the expected value be 237.50 when that value is not on the wheel? It's not, expected value is that amount. There's a discrepancy here. The part that keeps getting to me is they have outcomes that go all the way up to 700 in the answer guide. There is no 700. I'm not reading that wrong. 100, 100, 100. I'm calling this a typo and I'm calling this a typo. So I'm gonna say plus dot, 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 plus. So this is all the parts in the middle. 500 times 1 8th and we get 237.50. That's expected earnings. Still the same calculation and that's why I'm having a trouble with this. And maybe it'll come back to me and I'll do like a follow-up video to it, but you've already earned your 200 bucks. Huh. You've already earned your 200 or you spun for more money. But wait, if you're spending for more money, and this time, let's say you did land on the 500. I think this question is more complicated than they're making it and their answer guide is weird. So I'm gonna press forward with this path. We're still back on the same conversation. Calculate the expected value for one spin of the wheel. And in this one, it should be a different wheel, shouldn't it? Maybe you have a different wheel in your textbook than mine. So just check that there's 100, 200, 500, 100, 200, 400, 300, 100, right? You've got those numbers in that arrangement. If you have a different copy of the book, then you're gonna need to set up a different expected value formula here. It's gonna have to include those values and the probability of that value happening, and then you're gonna add it. Because this answer key says goes up to 700. And that's not visible here. And because of, you know, in the answer key for that question, it has a different probability. 
Same number of outcomes, but going up to 700 in value, the expected value is going to change. Still, if I keep on spinning the wheel, I can expect to earn on average whatever that expected amount was. Answer key, they say, is $362.50. But my answer, because at this moment, the paper copy of the print materials has the same wind, a wheel as the last one, it's still $237.50. But on the next spin, I could win or lose more or less than $300. I could earn less than 300. Specifically, there is a five out of eight chance, five out of eight chance or probability of landing on $100 or $200. So I'm really not likely going to keep my money, even though you know what? Yeah, if I keep spinning, I'm not spinning. No. Should you keep or spin? I'm keeping. No matter what, I'm keeping it. I'm going to keep the total amount of money because if I spin, on average, I stand to lose more than that $300. So every time I could be just saying $300, $300 are the people playing, right? You're going to choose to spin. You're going to choose to keep. You're keeping $300. You're keeping $300. You're keeping $300. Or the scenario of you're spinning. 237.5 on average. You're spending 237.5 on average. You're spending 237.5 on average. So as that adds up over time, the average is actually less. You should just keep the money. Boring game show over in one season, but mathematically quite considerate. Let me see here. Activity three. Is there a spoiler alert for activity three? No, oh, that's it for activity three. Now, Love it. This next activity is going to be a doozy. It's going to have a lot of decimals in it. It's one that I'll walk you through slow but and step by step. Thank you for watching Expected Value. I hope to see you in the next episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.